And we're ready for 133 pounds. Key matchups, Devon Mijic, number one ranked 11 and 0 versus number four ranked Nick Suriano. Last year's finalist at 125, moving up to 133. Yeah, and those two losses he's had this year have been in overtime matches, Austin Santo. Actually, what this Santo was at the end of the, the third period here, and then overtime uh, loss to uh, Dayton Fix here from Oklahoma State. And they were two in a row. Yeah. So he's rebounded with five straight wins. Soriano has as he steps on the mat against the number one ranked undefeated Stevan Michich, last year's runner up to Seth Gross from South Dakota State. Well, one thing you're going to get with Soriano, he's going to be difficult to score on here, and he's going to come heavy on your head. So. Both guys like to, you know, incorporate a lot of lateral motion. You see that uh, outside collar tie that uh, that Suriano is going to. And what Michich will do here, he'll get his lateral motion going one direction, then the next. He likes to work off of elbow ties, but he will go come inside collar like he's done right there to try to get to a two on one. And right just like that, here, great opportunity here for Suriano to get points. A little hand fighting going on there with the wrist. and. and an effort there by Michis there to hit a switch here, but it, it dropped Suriano into a less competitive situation. Now he's into a whizzer. And right now it's going to be tough for that length that uh, Michis has here for Suriano to go ahead and finish, but he's got above the knee with that right hand. That's important. See how the wrist is tied up there? Um, Michis lets off of it. A lot of torque on that left hip. Now he's, oh, the referee stopped it right when he's about to shelf it. Wow. He had a lot of time to finish it, though. Yeah, that's good. Interesting call there. He called him for pulling the toe out, so it was potentially dangerous and not a stalemate. That's official Tim Ravello, seasoned official from Pennsylvania as the head official today. So no points, and Michi fends off. A dangerous shot by Soriano. Minute 15 left in the first period, no score. Soriano from Paramus, New Jersey, Bergen Catholic. He was a four-time state champion, 159 and 0 in yeah. high school. What Soriano did a great job there, Tim, was he timed it to, you know, Michi likes to get to a two-on-one -on, on that left arm, and then he just followed it up with that shot to the left leg of uh, Michi. So, really well done. There. Good reactions by Suriano. Not going to get anything cheap on him. No, Suriano being Suriano early here. Great defense, holds position so well. Comes to the, yeah, he likes to come to that right collar right there. That's kind of a, a, a pacifier here for him. Hammer. Donnie Pritzloff there in the back with the black sweatshirt and gray pants, the assistant associate head coach. Two-time NCAA champion from Wisconsin, and now the associate head coach at Rutgers. And Suriano in on the leg again. Yeah, 15 seconds to be able to try to score. Now he comes up around a bear hug, and this is a situation with the length of Michic. He's just done, just done enough to stuff the head just a little bit and square up, and it's just enough to go ahead and get to the neutral position. Let's go back to that first shot. You see where Michic is trying to work for a two-on-one. He ends up sliding over here, and then you see how Suriano anticipated that? That's just good scouting right there by the Rutgers coaching staff, and great feel. Got in there, almost had a chance to score with it. The attacks so far have been Suriano's. He'll get on top of Stevan Michic out of Cedar Lake, Indiana, Hanover Central High School. Michic is a two-time All-American. Also a junior world bronze. Started at Northwestern. Took an Olympic uh, redshirt year and now is in his third year for the Wolverines. Again, in the scoreless matches, you don't want to be the, you want to get quick escapes. Michi's able to go ahead and score right there. That's a good sign for Michi right there, getting out quickly. These two teams were in the Cliff Keen Invitational, but Michi had been injured early and Suriano won that Cliff Keen Invitational, but Michic was not there, he was hurt. So, again, they have not met. Going back to that two-on-one, you see the drifting that here that Michic is doing to, the, to his right. He's drifting into that lead leg. Now Suriano changes that lead leg. 
Collar tie, again, constantly drifting, and, and, and I think Suriano's picked up on that. And he's making adjustments when they're in tie-ups here to drift that left leg back. That's the, the first direction I think Michich wants to go. You know, Suriano stands pretty high, but he does such a great job with his hands, has such quick hands that, you know, a lot of guys don't, they haven't been able, he's one of the best guys in the country at getting to legs, and he hasn't been able to get to Suriano's legs yet. And you look at the elevation that Suriano works with, pretty high, but guys don't get to his legs. It's unusual. Short time in the second period, Michich is quick escape. Gives him a 1-0 lead. Seriano will have the opportunity, if nothing happens here, to start the third period underneath and get his chance to score. Both these guys started at different schools. Seriano at Penn State, Michich at Northwestern, but they're facing off Rutgers in Michigan today. We'll go to the third period. Seriano in his second year at Rutgers, the only finalist ever for the Rutgers Starlet Knights. He was a finalist last year, lost to Spencer Lee from Iowa in the finals at 125. He's up to 133. He's up against the undefeated, number one ranked Stevan Micic. No blood time out there, but, you know, Tim, I'm thinking, you know, strategy-wise, thinking like a coach in the corner, okay, you know, you got to be thinking about getting that quick escape. But you got to say, well, how many calories is Micic willing to burn right here to, you know, get the time. He's, the riding time is at uh, basically 18 seconds. So can he have some success breaking him down initially? And Suriano is a tough guy to go ahead and break down. And I don't see either guy getting tired right now. It's not like the the DeSanto match where there's you can see some stress there developing. Both guys are not stressing. And this is going to be this is going to be one on the feet. If it's going to be one in the third period. So far, the attacks really have been by Suriano on the feet and on the leg a couple of times. There's nice, the third. Yeah, nice time shot. Again, nice job there with the elbow tight. And he's just so good at finishing right there. He gets the far ankle, and this is where he's just so effective. Again, we saw it where Suriano's able to get to the leg three times, but Michi's got there once and got a good clean finish. Yeah, it was almost like a reshot there for Michich, and it was a clean finish for two points. Take down now. They escape Siriano. Three to two. No riding time. A minute 15 left in regulation. It's kind of funny situation for Siriano because this is what you want to probably see a little bit more of. Have him stuff the head, bury the head, and see if he can go ahead and spin around. No stall warning on either guy at this point. But Siriano is certainly going to be the aggressor here. Duck under, straight on attempt. Good job of using that left-handed wizard to square up. That's really been the, the thing that saved him here in a lot of this match so far, is that left-handed wizard to be able to square up. Been deep and hard, and you're right. It has saved Micic, as Seriano has been in three times, but uh, the one time Micic was in, cut the corner, drove through for the two. So taking a look at this, okay, able to get to the leg one more time. But he's holding that other arm up with his left. He's basically got the left wrist. Now he's got the uh, deep wizard. And when you're wrestling in this position, you've got to pretend like you're in the middle of the mat. And one more time for the potentially dangerous call. The knee was flared out there. Now Coach this Goodale doesn't like that, but. And he'll be warned for a judgment. And it's one of those things, I know it hurts to be able to see that call being stopped, but I almost think like you could continue the action might be better off for Suriano. So here he goes. We know his go-to shot. Can he make it work? Suriano trying to get the upset against the undefeated. Stevan Micic trying to hold on. Warning on Micic. That's his first warning. They go out of bounds. Action continue. They'll go back to the center. But this has been called tightly here. You, it, Sean Bormet knows exactly this. He's got to stay in the inner center right there of the, of the match. If he doesn't, you can get a stall call. With all those stoppages on those shots, this is where you could see a really quick stall call. He knows he's got to stay in that R area right there. He can't back out. No time to celebrate. Straight on shot. And Michi holds on, continues 
as the undefeated number one ranked 133 pounder. Good sportsmanship, great match, Jim. It really was. I mean, it just the, the separation was just the, the finishes. And, you know, 